Dozer. No, it's not. It's my utmost. <laughs> oh well. I think I finally found the noise I've been wondering what was making noise. Uh -huh. Days when you struggle or you don't feel good, when you limp along as it were like a believer, don't beat yourself up any worse than you already feel as though you've been let down or somehow you've been crushed. Rather, continue on and let God begin to bring healing to you. Is that if there are things that you have to do, then do them. But if not, then be still and restore your relationship with God immediately so that you can begin to allow His Holy Spirit to, once again, just work His work in you to heal that which hurts inside or that has been separated from God or damaged because of sin. And as He does, gradually He'll turn the attention of your focus back unto Him. And when you're ready, God will invade your life and tell you that not only does He forgive you, but He loves you. In my utmost, The spiritual society. To we all come into the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians 4.13 Rehabilitation means the putting back of the whole human race into the relationship God had designed it to be in. And this is what Jesus Christ did in redemption. He put us into relationship with God. The church ceases to be a spiritual society when it is on the lookout for the development of its own organization as opposed to the re realization of a relationship of its individual parts with God. The rehabilitation of the human race on Jesus Christ's plan means the realization of Jesus Christ in corporate life as well as in the individual life. Jesus sent his apostles and teachers for this purpose, that the entire body of Christ, the corporate personality, might be realized when we work together. We are not here to develop a spiritual life of our own only, or to enjoy spiritual retirement. We are here to realize Jesus in our daily life every day that we are living, and that the body of Christ may be built up. Am I building up the body of Christ? Or am I tearing it down and attacking its members in particular? Am I choosing to edify the body of Christ? Or am I selecting those parts to excise them and cut them out and cut them away from being a part of the members of the body of Christ and members in particular? The essential thing is my personal relationship to Jesus, that I may know Him. To fulfill God's design means entire abandonment to Him and not to our own ideas. Whenever I want things for myself, the relationship with Him is distorted. It will be a big humiliation to realize that I have not been concerned about realizing Jesus, but only about realizing what He has done for me. The goal is God Himself, not joy, not peace, and not gifts of the Holy Spirit, and not the Holy Spirit, not even blessing, but Himself, God alone. Am I measuring my life by this standard? or by something or anything less. People say that, you know, once you've given the gospel message, that, you know, you need to get on with, you know, having a world vision or having a gifting or fitting into a certain part of the body of Christ. And for me, I disagree. I don't find a world vision in anything except for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that God sent his disciples into the world teaching them to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and causing them to go out to teach all nations the things which Jesus had said and making disciples of all peoples. Other than that, I don't see a world vision that most people talk about. I don't see a corporate entity that is described as being a political maneuverings that we have to somehow correlate ourselves as though we were right 
on the right, or wrong on the wrong, or left on the left, or middle in the middle, or some other party to which we deny our citizenship is in heaven and that this is not our home and we're not living in this world. I see Jesus as the priority and the focus of putting people back into right relationship with God the Father because they tend to ignore Jesus in all of these things. They ignore him in politics. Make Jesus the issue. What did Jesus tell you to do today? They ignore him in social occasions. Did Jesus tell you to take care of your brethren or did he say to turn it over to the government to do? He told you. He told you. If your brother is hungry, is it a social occasion for the government to provide for the foods and the needs of that person, the poor and needy? Or is it rather our responsibility that we see those who are poor and in need and we meet that need? In education, has it become a public necessity that we say that all these entitlements are things that we're entitled to? Or rather, is it a necessity that God has said that these are the things that we do and the government has supplanted us at times? Because we as Christians are called to educate, aren't we? What ought we to do? Put Jesus back where he belongs, not as an activist. Start with him in you, telling you what to do. And from that moment on, you will be able to change the entire society and world around you because you'll do it one person at a time and it'll start with your neighbor. And all you gotta do is love them. You don't have to do anything about their politics, about their socialism, about their whatever it may be. As a matter of fact, the only thing you need to do is share Jesus with them. And the rest will fall into place. It always has and it always will because that's what God's job is.